Hey everybody, so the Revit 2024.2 release just dropped a few days ago, I think, and I saw it and wanted to get in there, but I don't have time this weekend and I want to get this video out. Uh, for anybody that hasn't seen that post yet, or hasn't seen that they've released the, the point .2 version for 2024, uh, the link will be in the description if you want to look at what I'm seeing here. But you'll see the 2024.2 and then point .1 and any other uh, features and updates they've made. So I just wanted to highlight a few. Uh, I haven't tested these yet. At some point I'll get in there and actually look at Revit and play around with these. I just installed the uh, the point .2 update so I'm excited to, to dive into it but just haven't had a chance yet. So. I think this is cool, this new uh, Revit Home screen, so it'll be cool to see those uh, previews, something a, a bit more modern. It looks a little uh, uh, packed, but I'll see after it's open, it's probably going to look better than this little image. And then we've got the dark theme, so there's just more of those uh, getting released, more of the dark theme stuff. I'm a big fan of that, other than like my working space. So like my views and stuff, I still work with those as just the regular um, traditional views with the white backgrounds and stuff. Uh, but everything else I set up is the dark theme and I, I think it's really cool. I like it. So I'll test this out. This seems a little weird to me. I, I don't typically use spreadsheets uh, in a dark theme like if I use Excel. So that's a, I know there's a lot of folks that do like those kinds of things. So that's definitely a cool addition um the dynamo uh, updates i use dynamo all, all the time this channel has dynamo videos so that one's going to be exciting it looks like they updated the search uh, functionality which will be uh i think a nice addition there's i think of it, it since I've used Dynamo for so long, I'm kind of used to searching for certain things in a certain way, but uh, it'll be nice to, because I still run into problems where I don't search things correctly, and it won't populate a result, and you'll have to put a space, or don't put a space, or put a dot, and then eventually it'll show up. But uh, improving that, I think, is, is definitely something that's going to help experienced users and uh, new folks so that one's going to be cool and it looks like they've updated the python editor so that's going to be nice because i spent a lot of time in there and for a long time the python editor just wasn't great and then they made some updates to it they introduced python 3 and it's a lot better so it's exciting to see if how it'll how they'll improve it even more and turn that into like a real useful editor uh, for python i use that all the time um and so, and I really like all the Dynamo updates recently, like all the cool UI improvements. I'm a big fan of that. I really enjoy it. I feel like I just like it a lot more. I don't get to use the newer Dynamos very often at work just yet. At some point we will. A lot of our projects are in older versions of Revit. But uh, at home, I love just jumping into the newer versions of Dynamo and playing around with it, building stuff in it. So it'll be cool to actually start doing that, you know, at my work every day. And there's a lot of other little improvements. Uh, there's automatic color conversion for all views and dark theme. Uh, improved electrical analytical um, design performance. So I may check that one, one out to see what what that is I may share that with some of our electrical folks so that'll be a cool one and I haven't looked at this there's some other enhancements uh, so API I know the building coder posted a link recently I think today uh, so I will try to find that and put it in the description as well because I know he has a lot of cool things that he wrote about in there and shared so definitely check that out uh, related to like the API and some of the updates so Anyways, I'm going to keep this video pretty short. Just wanted to roll this out. Both uh, links will be below the Revit 2024.2 release notes. I'll paste that and then the Building Coder uh, article that I saw on LinkedIn. I'll post that below too. So anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.